Hey guys, as we enter this end of the summer... Uh, hey guys, I was thinking of doing something a little different for this episode. As we hit this uh, home stretch of summer, you know, there were a lot of things that uh, I wanted to do but couldn't, uh, whether it was because of the pandemic or other reasons, but I uh, thought today we'd do things a little different. I want to give you the option this time. That's right, we're going to have a little choose-your-own-adventure. So if you just want to see the same old big red angler goes to a local spot and throws the drop shot and tries to get some bass, blah blah blah, you can go in one direction with some options within that direction. Or if you want to see me go to a new salt spot, with the caveat that uh, I don't know what I'm doing on salt and uh, I never really have great luck, you can take another direction. Or you can yo-yo back and forth, I don't care. So. Without further ado, let's see how this turns out. <sighs> Twin Lakes Park. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here other than I just had to get out of the house. It's been a weird couple of days. Um, I have been here since my uh, COVID freakout episode, um, like twice, and nothing happened. So. Go figure, why am I back? Again, I don't know. But uh, this isn't gonna be much of a, a video unless something cool happens. So um, I'm not gonna talk much. I'm just gonna film and keep my fingers crossed for the best. Drop shot to start, then maybe top water. How about this weird looking thing? Why not? Let's try it. Big bite baits. Okay, Jones Beach, Long Island. I think this is called the Boat Basin. This is the ocean side. I, uh, they, there's all kinds of piers and uh, beaches on the inlet side. I think that's what you would call it. But, uh, but I really wanted to surf fish, like on a beach. And look how empty this beach is, it's amazing. So uh, we're gonna start out with some cut bait, uh, high low rig type stuff and then maybe change things up to some uh, some spoon action as it gets a little later. It's about uh, 3.30 in the afternoon right now, 4, so we're probably going to stay here till dark. All right, let's get fishing. Okay, by the way, this is my uh, surf casting reel. It's the Kuma Rockaway 6000. Pretty big reel, but it's still on my kind of cheap uh, Abu Garcia. I don't know. It's called the Bruiser. Part of a combo that the reel already broke. It's like a nine footer, medium heavy, but I know I need a bigger rod. I've got two Atlantic Silver sides on there. The place didn't have blood worms or sandworms. Both of the bait came clinging off. Alright, let's just try one. It's hooked twice. Uh, so I brought a chair, but I still don't have a rod holder. And my favorite part, waiting. So I have a feeling those silver sides are not going to stay on quite like squid. So uh, let me just make that switch right now until further notice. It's 
squid stayed on. Might have something small on there. Actually, I don't think so. Just to see Robin. Oh, look who wants it. See Robin. I, it, it looks sickly. It's very uh, it's very light colored. It's weird. Maybe it's a different kind? I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not going to take this guy home. They already got a sea rock over here. come to this side often. Very shallow. fish okay okay not bad for this lake oh god these are razor sharp it's about it's more than a pound and a half not a bad fish for me at this spot could actually be my biggest uh, bass around here. There we go, there's some better lighting. All right, well, something is just a little off about the coloring. It's like dull or something. But, uh, I mean, other than that, it's a beefy fish, healthy fish. All right, well. There he goes. Okay, well, something happened anyway. This guy's got something. Something that's ripping drag. still have it. He's got something on there. I don't want to leave my bait alone because the seagulls might get it. Otherwise I'd try to get closer. Oh, I'm so curious what that is. I'm just curious. I, it looks like it. I don't think it's a sea robin. No, that's no sea robin. <laughs> no, that's no sea robin.
have experience getting those off? No, no. Oh. <laughs> well, I think you actually have to be careful with the back, right? Yeah, Dean, be careful with the back. I know. Don't Steve Irwin. Do you, do you need? Do you guys need pliers? Do you have pliers? We have pliers. Okay. Wow. Nice shark. Not much in the way of castable shoreline on this other side, uh, but I just found a little spot. It's pretty nondescript though. Mm, probably not poison ivy. But I can at least cast here. Actually, there's some stuff. There's some grass. There's a little fallen timber, although I'm sure this is pretty shallow right here. That other fish I just casted, I think I just cast it out as far as I could. Let's try that. It's been very hot, so they might just be deep. Yep, they are just deep. <clears throat> stay on, stay on, man. Oh, he's coming straight for me. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, bigger than the last one. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> mm, about the same size, actually. Chunker. Okay, well. So they're just, uh, I guess, chilling offshore. Kind of deep. I don't, you know, I don't know what the structure situation is down there, but... Alright. Another chunky, healthy guy. I mean, this is better than what you'd expect at, like, Tibbetts Brook. Other way, other way. So we're catching them on big bite baits. All it says on the label is DSG AST Bass 01 Bass Assortment Assorted. I don't know. They look like this has been sitting on my shelf in the, the fishing den for a long time because it just always looked kind of, I don't know, something about it was weird to me, but uh, clearly it catches fish, so. All right, I have to say that was inspiring. Let's see, let's see what we can, what we can do here. Status update. My friends who caught the, the ray uh, have left. Thanks for subscribing, by the way. I'm literally like one of the only people out there. There's a couple guys over there that look like maybe they're leaving soon. Some fishermen over there leaving. I think there's someone way in the distance over there. And they all might know something about the weather that I don't. Sorry if I'm too loud, but I feel like the wind is going to be an issue. Um, so anyway, Still got a high-low rig out there, shrimp, I mean squid, and uh, I don't know, I wanted to do some like sunset uh, spoon fishing. I do have a, a Castmaster spoon prepared for that, but uh, I don't know, depending on the weather, we might just have to wait. We might have to call it a little early today.
favorite, Steve Banks. Okay guys, uh, I think I may have seen a bolt of lightning out in the distance, uh, so we might have to cut this short, but found a spot I haven't tried before. Uh, over here by the dam. What I was gonna do was a, some more drop shotting here. And then I was gonna go to those pads on the other side with a topwater mouse. I just have to keep my eye on the weather. You know, I've always liked the looks of this like tower thing right here as like a structure and ambush point, but I've fished it many times from over there and never got anything, so. Oh yeah, there's a, a nasty thunderstorm over there. Oh! Oh boy, alright, one more cast, one more cast. Let's not, let's not be a hero. Let's not be a hero. And come back some other time. Bonus cast. this spoon this spoon approach but uh my line is like too heavy to get them out there so i've actually done two spoons we got a cast master on the end a pretty small one and i don't know what this other one is but uh it's really just for weight than anything i'm just gonna do it for maybe 10 15 minutes as the rain is picking up let's see let's see if i can get this anywhere out there And uh, I was just like, you know what, let me just get in the car, put my stuff, you know, my saltwater stuff in the car, drive there, and I'll figure things out as I go. That's what I'm saying. That's what I do. I figure things out as I go. I mean, whether I'm good at it or not, I guess it's, you know, <laughs> that's up to whoever. Now is when I tell you to please like, please subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your loved ones. And please guys, whatever you do, fish, you know the rest, like there's no tomorrow, peace. Screw it. The mouse is on. We do we do have to be the hero. We do have to be the hero. Just a couple casts, just a couple casts. I can't resist. Even in this weather, it looks so inviting. Haven't seen anything busting, but no. Just a few casts, just a few casts. That was three, kind of. All right. Bonus. Let's go.
okay what can i say nothing like a little fishing therapy um wasn't really expecting much never do here but i actually caught two you know pretty decent fish as far as i'm concerned as far as this location is concerned but anyway guys i feel like i'm gonna get struck by lightning so please like subscribe and by all means whatever you do fish like there's no tomorrow be safe out there peace Yes! Oh, oh come on! No, 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 no. It is no time left! It's over! It's over! The end of the game! Oh, it's over! Yes! Oh, you took too long! It, you took too long on that last play! Sorry, New England, you suck!